CBS2 is a proud sponsor of what you see right there, April Food Day. The Chicago Food Depository says one in five area families, one in five dealing with food insecurity. So we're proud to team up with our friends at the United Way today to help lessen that burden for many. And to jumpstart us at always, to give us fired up about this, is the one person who gets us fired up about everything. And Jackie, this is this is such, such, a, such an important topic. Uh, you always light up the morning, but this one's really critical. I mean, let's, let's feed some people uh, that need it, right? Brad, it absolutely is a critical need. There is a critical need in our community. You just mentioned that one in five Chicago area families deal with food insecurity. Do you know what that means? That means that families don't know where their next meal is coming from. So that's why we have partnered with the United Way to help uh, collect food and provide it to a bunch of different food pantries in and around town. So this is uh, the progress that we've made so far, all from Brother Rice. That was the first school where we were, and now we are at Shepherd High School. We're with the drumline, the cheerleading squad, the wrestling team, and National Honor Society. So thank you students for being here this morning. This is the food that they have collected. Drumline, they sound so good. This is how you get this morning started. Thank you guys so much. You can stop right there for just a moment so we can listen to all of the important things that are happening. I'm here with Tim Baker, who, yeah, good job, you guys. Thank you so much for providing the spirit here as they begin to load the food onto the trolley. Make sure it goes all the way to the back of that bus, you guys. Uh, Tim, tell me a little bit about uh, your students, why you're so proud of them, and why they, they have this in their hearts to give back. Yeah, our students here are all about giving back and service. Uh, we are uh, all about community here. We serve six different communities, Payless Heights, Robbins, Calumet Park, Alsip, Worth, and Crestwood. So we have students from all over, all working together to try to make our community a better place. I love it. Speaking of our students, we've got four students representing uh, the cheerleading squad, National Honor Society, and the wrestling team with us this morning, starting with Jeremiah. Uh, same question down the line. Uh, why is it so important for you guys to give back, and what does it feel like to provide for the community in this way? I mean, it definitely feels like really, really good um, giving back means a lot to me because I know there's people out there who doesn't really who don't really have a lot so when I know that I could be a part of something good it really makes me feel like really well and really happy yes the need is great and it's great to have that perspective thank you so much uh, Jacob what do you think what, what does it make you feel like to be able to give back it makes me feel really great really uh, being part of the National Honor Society that's a lot of what we uphold with our four pillars character oh. leadership scholarship and leadership which is very important to us and it's very, it makes it very easy being part of the National Honor Society with over 100 members. We've amassed over four and a half thousand service hours total together. And, yeah. So but, it's not just what you're doing here, but in all of the other ways. I love how I saw a can of food just rolling down. Sometimes it gets a little unruly when we're loading up the bus. Uh, Stacy from the wrestling team, uh, and you're actually on the cheerleading squad too, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So you do a lot of different things. Um, what other ways have you given back and why is it so important uh, that you provide for the community in this way? Um, just all around, like yeah. giving back, just different like uh, donations for like clothing and food and just everything. Like it just feels like so like amazing to know that I can help people out that can't afford as much as I can. Absolutely. It's good to, to lead with that, that gratitude. Uh, ending here with EJ, right? Yeah. All right. Good morning to you. You're on the wrestling team. I know discipline is a lot of what you guys talk about in wrestling. How does that factor into uh, to, to service like this? Honestly, it's just pretty much waking up in the morning and wanting to do to help out and just staying on that task to like and that drive to like just wake up yes. and just keep going. Yes, basically. exactly. It's, it is a blessing to be able to wake up and to have the opportunity to provide for the community in this way. Shepard, thank you so much. You guys have been amazing this morning. They're going to continue uh, loading up this trolley again. Brad, the need is great, but uh, it's cold outside this morning, but our hearts are warm because we are able to, to provide in this way, teaming up with it, the United Way. Uh, Drumline, let's take us out. Let's take us out to break. Thank you so much, Brad. Good morning so far. We will keep the spirit going. I mean, only Jackie Costa can wrap a drum line, direct traffic, conduct five interviews, get everybody's <laughs> name right, then start up the drum line again and toss it back. <laughs> Jackie, kudos to Thank you. you Brad. And you're right, let's, let's yeah. nourish some neighbors, support the United Way, let's feed some people, folks. Uh, Jackie's going to be with us all day. That's why, that's why she's jumpstarting us. All right, here is what.